My lords, ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome back to City Skylines as we continue building the city of Coventry. Now, I've done a few things off camera. I've laid out some extra roads in preparation for a bit of future expansion, as we can see here and also over here. And I've also done a little bit over the other side of the river. I've given ourselves access onto this freeway here that runs across the river. And we're also now linked into the bridge that we built in the previous episode as well. As we can see, our freight trucks are using this uh, this new access point already, which is good to see. So that's helping balance the, uh, the incoming goods between the two access points into the city. So we're not swamping this one access point here. Now, we still need a lot of residential zoning to do. We've got quite a high demand there, as we can see. So I think we may as well go ahead and crack on and get started with that straight away. Now what I was thinking of doing is having some zones constructed over this side of the river to split the city into two. That's why I've laid this road out coming down this way in anticipation for this expansion. So I think the best thing to do is go ahead and make a start on that straight away. So let's go ahead and get our road tool out. We want the, uh, the medium road, the four lane medium road. And what we're going to do is grab a quick junction here up towards the highway there. Obviously, you don't want to go too far because of noise pollution and whatnot for the residents, but something like that. And then we'll just go ahead and get some simple grids put down over here. Where's the two-way road that we want to use? Perhaps, no, we want parking because it's residential. Let's have a look. I'll say this one here will do quite nicely. And we'll just put, as I said... Pretty simple and straightforward grid style structure in place here. And I'm trying to get that roughly parallel with those rail lines there. I think that's about it. Ish. It'll do. Because obviously we don't want to be crossing over the rail lines. I'll just go to free form now and just curve this in a little bit. This is not the most efficient use of space as we can tell but... That's fine. Not every city is planned out with 100% efficiency, as well we probably know. There we go, it's just a simple sort of small suburb here, with just the one access point onto the road to get us onto our main arterial road, from which they can go into the other side of the city for work and for play. So, we want to zone this with residential, as we said, but before we do that, in fact, we may as well get some water coverage put down for this side of the city and we'll keep it as efficient as we can sort of like this there's a little bit of overlap but that's okay maybe just take it there there we go we have far less overlap now connect all those together and then obviously we need to bring this over to the other side of the river so we can do that quite simply like so so that's then provided with water Let's have a look at our power situation. We are consuming 72 megawatts and producing 88. Now I think once we start zoning this and they start building, that's not going to be enough to cover the demand. So what we'll do is we'll put some new advanced wind turbines down in this river here. These produce 12 megawatts in this area as we can see. So I think just a couple of these. And that should see us through quite nicely. And then what we need is some electricity distribution pylons running from the river over to the new zones that we're about to put down. So if we run it like this, just to there. And I think once they start building here, that should encourage the bubble to touch out to the pylons there and then spread the power into the residential district. So... With that in mind, what we're going to want to do is get some get some commercial put down here, just on this side of the main avenue. I don't normally put it on the main arterial road, but in this instance, I think we should be okay. And we'll just run a little bit down here, and then some here as well, and then we can switch to the residential zoning, and then we can just do a blanket coverage in this area, like this and like so and along here and 
in the very near future they should start building in these designated areas. Just put some along there as well. Leaving space for any future road junctions that we may need to put in without demolishing the houses. Now we have to be mindful of course of the rail line that we have running right behind us. However, saying that, it does look like an ideal place where we could put any future train station once we unlock it. Which I believe, yep, we need to be at 11,000 population. At the moment, we're at 3,000, so we're somewhere for that. We have a worker shortage. I just wondered if I could click on that and it would take me to it, but it doesn't, which is... Well, it's good to know that we have it. It would be nice if we could do a click to or zoom to option on there as well. So it's this industry here, and they have one over-educated worker, as we can see here, but they need nine uneducated workers. Well, the, uh, the influx of residents over here should address that issue. Let's just check if our power has bubbled over. No, it hasn't, so what we are going to have to do is encourage a bit of commercial development along here, and then that should cause the bubble to spread over the other side of the road now one thing to also consider because of the uh, the disconnect so to speak between this area of our city and this area it could be worth having a bus system that links from over this side of the river over the road into one of our main bus stops in here and then back in just like a shuttle bus service across the river and back so that the residents over here can use the bus and public transport and then obviously once they get dropped off at one of the stops here they can join one of the local services and get to wherever they're going such as the schools or their, their places of work in the industrial sector there okay so this should now bubble now that we have construction occurring over here you may notice the game speed is running a little bit slower that's a mod that I've installed in between episodes so if it looks like things are going a little bit slower that'll be the reason why but if we find it's going too slow we could always use the game speed accelerator and run it forward a bit but it's meant to simulate a more realistic speed so we're not flying through the days every couple of minutes instead the days are stretched out as we can see we now have hours per day as well okay so let's just check the power make sure that has connected nicely indeed it has and how are we doing on consumption oh we've got plenty to work with there so there's no no real concerns in that regard. So I think what we'll do now is, as I said, we'll get a bus system that runs... Where is it? Is that the bus there? Yes, indeed it is. Where's the bus stop tool? There it is. Yes, we'll have a bus system that quite simply picks up on this side of the river and heads over to the other side of the river. Where do we want... What station do we want to use as our drop-off? Let's just slow the game speed back down again. Perhaps that one there. Yes, sure, why not? And then all it's going to do is head straight back to there. Just a two-stop line, nothing special. And what we'll also do here is have a local bus service that runs around this new little district. Nothing too fancy or extravagant. There we go. That way the residents don't have to walk from up the far side of this district to the bus stop, so they should be encouraged to use it. Now one thing I haven't done, which I like to do as well you probably know, is put down some pavement so we can encourage our residents to walk where possible. So let's turn off all these snapping tools now. And we'll drop in some pavements. Unfortunately we're going to have to demolish that commercial building just there to make way for the uh, for the path could we fit one in here running down here between these houses and out here I think we probably can if we're quick and we get in here before they build in this little zone here there we go and this oh we just can't squeeze through there with the looks of it oh now we can quite tight though but we've made it there we go, so a little cut through for the residents there to save them having to walk all the way around the block. Before they build here, we'll put a cut through there as well. And I think that should be good for now. Yep, that'll do. 
so we'll leave them to it and we'll continue on with other aspects of our city management. We still need, or we still have a high demand for residential, but we'll see what happens once this fills in because it isn't quite fully built up yet, so that'll probably subside somewhat. We also need some commercial as well, so we could put a little strip of commercial down here. We have the space here. Or what we also could do is if we continue this road out this way, the uh, the long-term aim for this avenue here is it will connect into this portion of the motorway at some point. Not sure where. Perhaps even we could have a large junction over here so then it connects to both of the motorways. So if we want to keep that in mind for the future, what we can do for now is if we just take this road and continue out towards that sort of direction and we'll try and follow the lay of the land a little bit here and we'll skirt around the the side of this hill as best we can just like that and what we'll do is just quickly smooth this off because that looks a bit bit unnatural there so where's our smoothing tool am I on the right med yeah well, here it is so we just want to soften this off Perhaps me use a, a larger brush there. Okay, it doesn't quite smooth like I'm used to in transport fever. I'm sure there is a knack to it and I just need to learn it. But for now, that's, you know, it's improved it somewhat, I think. Yeah, I suppose that's a matter of opinion, isn't it? Anyway, now like, we can connect this road up to here as well. And we'll, first of all, just use a bog standard junction, a T-junction. But in the end, once it's put in, we'll swap it out for a roundabout instead. So if we connect into there like that, and then go to the roundabout builder mod, what size do we want? I'm going to say we want three lanes here. So UK, large road, three lane, one way. I think that's what that's saying. At least that's my interpretation of it. What size is that? 25. Let's just increase that to 30. No, that would be the world's biggest roundabout. There we go. So we'll have a roundabout connection there. I'm not sure I like the fact it humps up and humps down, but we could level that terrain off and just rebuild and reconnect that. But it'll probably not look as neat as it does in terms of the uh, the circle. Okay, so now what we can do is we have some space here to put another residential district. Although this is fertile land here. So we may want to reserve this for some farming industry if we want to explore that. So perhaps instead we'll zone our residential, continue along the river and connecting up here. That might be the better option, I think. So we'll do that and then we're not going to rule out the possibility of any future farming industries if we do decide we want to use it in, as I said, in the future. So we'll just follow the curve of the riverbank there. And then this will be just a nice straight connection, sort of like that. Yeah, that's fine. And then, once again, get the roundabout constructor. This only needs to be a two-lane roundabout, I would think. And we want medium road, so that's small road. UK medium road, two-lane roundabout. Not so large. I'd say we could probably go for 20... Uh, it's not 20 tiles, is it? I'm not sure why the uh, the tooltip, that's the one, is so far away from where the cursor is, but never mind. So as you can see now, we've got quite a few roundabouts running down this central avenue. But ideally, or in theory, they should help traffic flow a lot better than a stop-go sort of T-junction. So we'll keep them in. And now we can go ahead and zone some of this up with some more commercial, sorry, some more residential areas. And we'll say run from around about there. Just try to make good use of the space here. That's almost perfect. That'll do that. Yes, that they butt against each other quite nicely. And then we'll put one more here, which is less efficient use of space. As we can see, we have overlap. And then we'll go as far as there and then do a right turn into that road there. Perfect. Let's get some of this filled in, shall we? So we'll just zone that section there. 
then we went to get we want to get the commercial zone in tool and we'll put some commercial just alongside the main road here making sure we're not making them connect to the roundabout which doesn't make any sense you wouldn't have a shop front on a roundabout because you can't park on a roundabout there we go and then we can just fill the rest of this in here with some more residential perhaps not that square there because nothing would build there and then we can continue with the water system down here and where's decent overlap okay that's just out of the city limits of course it is there we go nice efficient coverage there and that between this little district here and the one over the other side of the river we should have nice coverage uh, sorry nice uptake on this high demand here there's one of our buses just making his way around this little suburb where's our connection bus is it the uh, is it the pink one I am not sure let's have a look yes it is not sure what that white bus is doing I'd have imagine unless it's just the color they've decided but I always thought they assigned them the the line color unless it's a mod and it doesn't have that color option available who knows now let's just take a moment and check how we're doing so water and sewage is absolutely fine we have about 25,000 cubic meters of capacity remaining garbage we are almost full on our landfill as we can see up to 90 percent and i think now that we're making decent money now is probably a decent enough time to go ahead and put in a recycling center as well and then we can phase out this landfill and instead go towards the uh, recycling so if we put it there what's the capacity that's it's only 24,000 so we probably want to go ahead and have a second one as well and we'll put that one just up here no away from the forestry because I'm not sure what sort of effect the pollution would have We'll put it there. We'll squeeze it in there. That should take us up to 48,000. Indeed it does. Our production is 82,000. So we're not meeting the demand there. But it's a start. And it's going to help alleviate the burden on this landfill as well. And in fact, could we now start emptying that out? I think we could. And start processing it in the recycling centre instead. In terms of education, we do have just about enough spare capacity, although once all this builds up, that might change, depending on how many children move in, but we'll keep an eye on that. High school, uh, plenty, we've got a good buffer there, don't need to worry about that. We don't have any universities yet, so that's irrelevant. How are we doing on healthcare? Only two sick citizens, and we have a capacity of 100 Heating we've not done yet, but we might do it in the future actually. Good capacity on the cemetery, so nothing to worry about there yet. Traffic. Obviously this is quite busy, but our average traffic flow is in the high 80s. Oh, it's just tipped over to 90%, and that's the one you want to concern yourself with. I like to aim for anything over 85%. If it drops below 80 or even 75, that's when you want to start addressing it if you can. Obviously, a lot of the traffic flow issues are caused when the vehicles pull in to make a delivery and they just cause everything else to have to wait behind them. Ground pollution, yeah, it's very nasty over there. That's to be expected. No water pollution, however. Noise pollution. We have, obviously, this strip down the main avenue, which is understandable because that's where our freight trucks are coming to make deliveries to our commercial industries. But if you look, the bulk of the residential areas don't have any noise pollution at all so that's fine anything else we could check crime rate six percent that's not bad our jail capacity is almost at maximum so we might need to put a new police station down right do we have any ancillary prisons we could put down let's have a look we could put a uk police station in fact i'll probably put a small police station over here that would be quite fitting, I think. What does that do for our jail capacity? 
Oh, he's got 15 cells there, so that's going to add an extra 15, take up to 35, which gives us a nice buffer zone. And it also provides local coverage for this area as well, so they're not having to wait for them to arrive from over here, which is excellent. Okay, we're a bit busy at this junction here. Raises the possibility of changing that to a roundabout, which we can have a quick look at now. And we're going to want a three-lane roundabout here, because it's quite a busy interchange. So where are we? UK three lane large road. Perhaps increase that to 25. Yes, I think that should be good enough. It's going to get rid of this industry here, which is unfortunate. Or maybe it's not, but I am because it looks weird. There we go. And we'll see what sort of effect that's going to have on our traffic flow now. Hopefully it will improve it. We're still okay for power. Uh, yes, it's crept up a bit, but we still got about 20 megawatts spare, so that's okay. What we could also consider doing, instead of putting a new turbine or power station down, is actually increase the budget for our power production. And that will increase the output of our power plants. At the minute, as you can see, everything's set to 100%, but you can increase or even decrease this if you have a lot of surplus. Okay, we've got some garbage pile up here. We've also got a rock on the road. Get rid of that. Do we have a garbage truck out on its way? Where's the bin lorries? Where are you? You need to be heading down here, please. Unless they're all busy emptying the landfill. That could be a possibility. Building is... So we're down to 8 6 plants. We have emptied some of it. We'll stop emptying it for the moment. We've only got 2 out of 15 garbage trucks in use. And 1 out of 15 there... And 3 out of 15 there. So we do have a lot of capacity. I'm just not sure why they're heading down here. It could just be because it's so far away and it takes some time to get over here. But I can't even see... Oh, here comes one now on his way. Where are they go? Hey, 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 hey. Come here. Come on. Why? Stop ignoring them. These poor residents, no wonder they're taken to Twitter to complain. There we go. That took longer than it needed to. So have we fully built out up here yet? Pretty much, I think. I don't think I zoned this area here. No, nope, so yeah, it's fully maxed out. Oh, we have a McDonald's. Other fast food restaurants are available, of course. And we are fully built out over here as well. What are these little shops here? Oh, they're little banks. So is this our, the start of our financial district? Clearly not. Right, so we still need more residential areas. Is it worth starting to build out this way, over this side, in this little corner here? I think we could probably get away with that. There's no harm in it. Just spread our city about rather than building everything on top of one another. So what we're going to need to do then is take off a large capacity road in this direction. Which way are we going to head him ultimately? I think he'll head down that way. I don't think we'll build anything out this way. We'll keep this hill undeveloped. Maybe put a few trees up here, make it quite scenic. And then we could convert this into sort of a, a nature trail in the not too distant future if we wanted to. But for now let's focus on getting some more residential and commercial put down because they're calling out for it. So we'll have a tap off down here. I'd say we'll go as far as that. And then we'll just follow the motorway along here. And then come back in there. And then obviously we've got a nice big area here to put down some residential buildings. So we'll do that. Try and make decent use of the space here. There we go. That's not too bad. And about there. Not quite, perhaps. No, that's even worse. We'll go for that. That was a little bit more efficient than the other option. Plus, it leaves space for a footpath. And then we'll have one more come off here. And in fact, you know, you can't quite merge into there, which is unfortunate. And we'll just have this as a little cul-de-sac up here. 
distance too short. It clearly isn't. That's quite a quite a distance there. But there we go. That should be nice enough, I think. Yep, we're going to need water down here. So we'll put our main access pipe there. And then off this pipe, we shall branch off and get decent coverage. Like this. That's not quite efficient, but it'll do. There we go. And then they can just connect in to the main branch here. And then this will actually run off into the city to be connected into our water source. There we go. They'll need power. Fortunately, we have our wind turbines just up here. So, quite simple just to run the power lines down here. And then we'll get this zoned in with some commercial and then the residential to create the power bubble. Let's get that done. So we'll have all this here as commercial and a little bit there and there. Obviously along the main avenue here will also be commercial as per. And the rest, in fact we can have, yeah that'll be commercial. But all this in the middle will obviously be our residential. A few erroneous little zones that we can get rid of just like those two there and then all this eventually will become commercial however we have no demand at the moment so we don't want to oversaturate them and we'll see what they do with that why are they, where are they all going everybody's decided to go and come this way now which is that's fine if it's quicker for them and it balances the traffic and it keeps them coming from down here that's okay could probably go ahead and put a bus connection down here as well like we did up in the other side of the river so they would come this way straight over here they could connect in where's our nearest bus stop on the green line is this bus stop there i think there is yep and then they can come back all the way out here back into there a bit of a strange loop around there but it's fine. At least they're not doing a U-turn on the road like they tend to do on transport fever. So that's uh, that's fine. Let's go ahead and just have a little local service down here as well. There we go, just to get him in and around this little area. So it's probably not a bad idea in the near future to get a elementary school down here. Institute of the... What else do we have here? Fine Arts Museum, which is a high school... Cleekerson's Elementary. That has a capacity of 550. That's quite interesting. Community School. This is an alternative to elementary school. We'll go for a community school over here, I think. And we'll put it... There, because we have a bus... In fact, no, we'll put it this side. And the bus stop is right outside. Which is obviously... Uh, Quite logical and quite useful. What else are we going to need? We'll probably want a small police station out here as well. But we'll just uh, wait and see what happens. We don't want to overtax ourselves. We're still hovering about plus 1,000 a week. But we don't want to send that negative. So we'll do that slow and steady as and when it's needed. Traffic's looking pretty good. None of our roundabouts seem to be at a standstill anymore. How's the roundabout here that we put in? That's yeah, that's flowing a lot better than it was previously. So happy with that. Okay, so the landfill is now full. So we have no choice now but to empty this. So they should start taking that over to the recycling centres, which is going to overtax our garbage capacity while they burn through all of this. Do we want a third recycling centre? We could afford it. What's the difference here? Your capacity is 24,000 per 20 minutes. And you process the same. You also consume less... Sorry, you consume more electricity. So I'm not sure why you would opt for that. I suppose it's... Oh, there's no pollution on this one. But there is noise pollution. Uh, we'll have one. And this can be the one over in the residential sort of area. Because... Yes, there's noise pollution, but we've got noise pollution from the road anyway. And if we put it there, that's only going to affect the commercial areas. And there's no ground pollution. 
and this should encourage these to focus on this part of the city. We do have trash build up as we can see in two locations, at least it's, I hope it's just the two, yes it is. So at the moment our residents are swimming in their own filth. We just need to get this emptied and then we can even get rid of it I think and then see if we have enough garbage processing capacity with the free recycling centres. Oh, almost. Look, we're producing 75,000 units per 20 minutes. And we could process 72,000 per 20 minutes, so that's fine. What we could do is increase the budget temporarily. If we set it to, say, 110%, we should be able to afford that increase. Yes, we can, just about. And we'll see what that does for our processing capacity. Where are we? Here we are. Okay, so all that seems to have done is actually increase the garbage production. Oh no, it's also increased the capacity as well. Okay, well unfortunately they might have to just live with a bit of a pile-up for a couple of days while the trucks make their way over. But once that's gone, we can get rid of this building because we can't demolish it yet because it's full. And once it's been emptied, we'll replace it with another recycling centre over here. I must admit, I'm not sure if I'm overly keen on this time adjustment mod. Things seem to be going an awful lot slower than I'm used to. Maybe it's more realistic, but uh, it's not the city skylines I am used to. So I might uninstall it for now, or disable it for now. I'll keep it downloaded. We can always put it back on later if we want to, but I think I prefer it in the, uh, the default vanilla settings, if I'm honest. Okay, well, I think what we'll do then is we'll call this episode done. I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, go ahead and give that little thumbs up a tickle there. And you can also consider subscribing to the channel to keep informed and abreast of future episodes. And if you have any feedback, suggestions, comments, or, you know, your own experiences... Maybe even with this time manipulation mod if you use it. Go ahead and just drop that in the comment section below. I do read them all. Our city is massively on fire. That's a brilliant way to end it. That's cracking. Well done. Hopefully that won't cause too much damage. But as we can see, I think we have every fire truck in the city attending this. Which is understandable because one whole block is on fire. That's quite unsettling. What a way to end it. Our residents are both swimming in garbage, and now the city's on fire. Cracking. Well, hopefully in the next episode, our city won't have been reduced to cinders and ash, but we shall see. So thank you for watching. All that remains for me to say is take very good care of yourselves. Stata for now.